Hi and welcome to this DCP Web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to blur a background in a picture using Adobe Photoshop. Okay, so on my desktop, I've got this folder and inside this folder, I have one picture which I downloaded from Unsplash. I'll put a link to that in the YouTube description. Let's open up Photoshop and create a new file. And it's going to be 1920 by 1080 and we're going to leave it at landscape, 72 DPI, leave it at, leave it at um, RGB and 8-bit and we'll put a white background for now. Let's click create, so we've got a blank canvas. Let's take our picture and drag and drop that into Photoshop. We just want to resize it to color the white gaps down the side. So we just hold down the Alt key, use the mouse, left mouse button to just zoom in on this picture a little bit. This should be fine. And then we can just drag the picture up a little bit to somewhere around here. So the objective is to remove, um, or we should say, isolate this person and the dog and then blur out the background so we can just blur out anything in the background so let's click on the uh the move tool for a second and we will click on this image and press ctrl and j or command and j on the mac ctrl and j will make a duplicate copy let's click on this background we don't really need it so we can just delete that and if you want to duplicate the layer you can also right click and select duplicate layer here as well so what we want to do is make a selection so let's go to the top layer and we want to select this person and the dog so let's click on the quick selection tool here and uh, for now we want to add to the selection so this should be selected this option here and in the drop down for the brush we're going to leave it at around 15 uh, size the hardness i normally set it quite high something around 80 and then the spacing i'm going to set it quite low to around sort of around nine or ten some sort of value like this and you can adjust these depending on the, the image that you're um you're going to um select so we can see the little brush here it's quite small and we're just going to just start drawing over the face and the body of this woman and the hat at the top here and photoshop will do its magic and select this picture or the person and also we want to get this dog as well right so let's get the dog and this should take a few seconds to do right so we might have to refine this selection afterwards so don't worry about that too much so we can see we've over selected some of this stuff especially down the bottom near the dog's uh, special parts so what we'll have to do is remove some of this selection so there's two ways to do that you can either click on this option here and that is to remove from the selection subtract from it or you can use the hot key which is the alt key so if you look at this uh, cursor, if I put it here, maybe you can see it, there's a plus sign in there. When I hold down the Alt key on my keyboard, it will turn to a minus sign. And in, in effect, we're just switching between these two options here by holding down the Alt key. Yeah. So as I hold down the Alt key, it will um, remove or add to the selection. So let's move our mouse cursor into here. We'll hold down the Alt key and click, and then we can see it's starting to remove parts of the selection that we don't want. So let's just remove all of this here. We don't want any of this. Uh, be careful with the dogs. Uh, you know, uh, let's just see our uh, selection here. This seems okay, but we're missing a bit of this dog's leg. So what we'll do is just reduce the size of the brush. Let's just make that a bit smaller, maybe down to around six pixels. And then we can click in here and get this dog's foot. And you can see it's over selected here. So just hold down the Alt key and then we can deselect, right? So this is how we use Photoshop to do a quick selection. So this isn't too bad, but we're going to refine it a little bit. So let's hold down the Alt key and use the mouse wheel. We can zoom in on this foot and we just click the plus, right? Just left click and you can see it's over selecting. So hold down the Alt key to deselect and we can just refine this selection slightly. It doesn't need to be perfect, but we'll hold down the Alt key to add, uh, hold down the Alt key to remove and um, just use the left mouse button to add, right? That's what you've got to do. So this isn't too bad. Let's be a bit careful with uh, those, uh, those bits down there. And we'll continue to select some of this here. So this seems pretty good. We, you know, we can spend a lot more time refining this, but I won't spend too much time doing that. I'll leave you to go and refine around these edges um, and make it perfect. But I can see there's some problems on this side. So hold down the space bar. And while you're zoomed in, you can hold down the space bar and use your left mouse button just to move across the image. And you can go around the edges here and just make sure everything looks pretty good. And wherever you can tidy it up quickly, tidy it up so you can see here is a little bit missing. Wherever the stuff missing, just add it back in. And if you over select, right, when you over select like this, just hold down the Alt key and you can just start to 
remove some of that selection and bring it back into place and Photoshop's pretty good at working out what you're trying to select it's not perfect but it would do a pretty good job right a pretty good job so let's see let's see here let's hold down the space bar and let's just move up this image I think most of this is pretty good and around here is all good so we just check in just to make sure we get as much of this picture as clean as possible um, let's try and get a bit more of this hair here it seems okay this part of the hat is missing right so when you're looking at it from a distance quite zoomed out quite far you might not see this stuff but if you get in a bit closer you're gonna see like you can improve some of this so if you can improve it then try and do that uh, it's just gonna make the end result a little bit better so we'll just spend a little bit of time on this not too long uh, let's just hold down the space bar so remember holding down the space bar and using your left mouse button uh, will allow you to pan across the canvas move it around and then just hold down the alt key to remove and use the left mouse button just to add to the selections we can add here uh, we can add a little bit more here uh, let's undo that if you make a mistake press ctrl z to undo so you can always undo something if it's not quite right quite quickly and then refine it again afterwards so i think we little bit out here so let's just try and refine this here uh, let's add a little bit sometimes you've got to add and remove a little bit uh, just to get it right this looks pretty good we won't worry about that too much this looks all good down here looks good here is a little bit outside so we hold down the alt key and we just remove that it should be okay we're pretty good here you know really i would spend a bit more time on this but i think we're pretty good with this selection it's not too bad so let's hold down the alt key and zoom back out we can see our selection we're going to select our mask here so click select and mask so we'll do that and there's a few different options in here there's like the radius so the radius um, we can like expand our selection slightly so if we're always inside of our selection we can expand it so normally i set this to a really low value like one or two pixels yeah nothing too not, nothing you know not a great amount um the smoothing so if you've got any jagged edges you can smooth them out so normally i'll set this to around two or three pixels it really depends on the picture so you should experiment with this um the feathering we can set it to like one pixel contrast all these other options i'm going to leave as default i'm going to click here and i'm going to make sure output to new layer with mask layer you leave it like this and click ok so here we've got a new layer that's been generated um, and if I were to hide this bottom layer, we can see the selection has been created, right? It's done a pretty good job. So we can now click on this bottom layer, go to the filter. Let's go to blur and go to, we can select any of these, but we we'll use Gaussian blur for now. So Gaussian blur. And now we can blur out the background and still retain focus on the person, right? The picture here, we can retain focus on that person, but then blur out the background quite easily. You can do like an extreme blur. You can blur it a little bit some of this is already blurred but these things that are quite closer to the camera like down here in this plant and this bush down here those won't get blurred but as you use your Gaussian blur you can see those will get blurred out and then you have more focus on this person so we can blur this out like this and you can go and do other things so you can click on this same picture you can come down here you can change it to black and white now you've got like a black and white background you can go and experiment and do loads of different things and you know play around with the settings in Photoshop and make that picture your own but I think that's pretty good we've blurred out the background we've done a quick selection uh, to cut out this person with the dog and that's how you go about quickly blurring out a background on a picture okay let's go ahead and minimize this let's close this folder that's the end of this tutorial I hope you find it useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial